Hey everyone, in this video, I will be showing you, how you can quickly make a website without any coding knowledge. After watching this video, you will be able to make any type of website. Just like this, we can create this type of website just by using drag and drop. So don't skip this video and watch it till the end, to learn how to make website using WordPress. Without wasting time, let's get started. So before we step up, we need to get a domain name and hosting for our website. If you guys don't know what domain name and hosting is. Domain name is like your website name. For example, Google has Google.com and Instagram has Instagram.com. This is called domain name and it's our website's online address. Hosting is like storage of our website content, and content means, our website images, videos, posts, and many more. Now, first we need to buy a domain name and hosting for our website, so simply click on the link which we provide in this video description. Once we click on the link, we'll redirect to Namecheap.com, Namecheap is a very trusted company to buy domain and hosting. And they provide a very reasonable price for domain and hosting. Our main website has hosted on Namecheap for the last 5 years, and I have a really good experience with Namecheap. Now, first we need to choose a hosting plan for our website. Here, you can see three plans. As we just started, so we go for a stellar plan, which is best for the new website. Stellar plan cost us approx $19 for first years. Stellar plan is very cheap, and also they provide very good features like. You'll get a free domain name for the first year. You can run up to three websites with this plan. You can create free business email. You'll get free SSL for your website. You'll get free privacy protection for your domain. Scroll down and you'll get complete information about each and every features of hosting plans. Now, simply click on get started. Now, make sure it selected a new domain name. If you already have a domain name then select this option. Now here, search for the domain name, which you would like to get. Please choose a domain name, which is short and easy to spell, type and remember. Now, choose the domain from available domain names. Here, you can see, these are free domain names for the first year. If you like it then select, or simply search different names, to get more free available domains. Once you like the domain, click on it. Now, here you can see, we select this domain name, and it's free for the first year. Now, click on connect to hosting. Click on add to cart. Now click on confirm order. Now simply create your Namecheap account, and then pay for your order. Once you are done, simply log in to your Namecheap account. Here, you can see your domain name and hosting plan. Now, we need to install WordPress on our website. So simply hover on the hosting icon, and then click on manage. Now scroll down. Here you can see the WordPress icon, simply click on it. Now click on install now. Now, we need to select a protocol for our website, simply choose anyone from these two options. Leave other options as default. Now head over to the admin account section. Simply choose admin username and password. Please make sure, you note this admin username and password, because we need these details, to log in to our website dashboard. Type your email address. Tick mark on classic editor. Now leave other options as default. Type your email address. Click on install. Now, we successfully installed WordPress on our website. This is our website URL, and this is our website admin URL. Simply click on the website URL to visit our website. Now, here you can see, our website is live.
and this is our website default look. Now, we need to customize our website as we like. To edit our website, first we need to log in to our website. So simply head over to our website URL, and then type, slash, wp, dash, admin, and then press enter. Now, simply log in with your admin username and password. Now, this is our website admin dashboard. And from here, we can customize anything on our website. Now, first we need to change our website theme. So simply hover over on appearance, and then click on themes. Now here, you can see the themes which are installed in our WordPress. This theme is currently activated on our website. And these two themes are also installed in our WordPress. And these themes we don't want, so we're gonna delete these two themes. To delete unwanted themes, simply hover on the theme, and then click on theme details. Now we can see the delete button, simply click on delete button to delete the theme. Now, to add a new theme on our website, simply click on add new. From here you can add a new theme as you want. In this tutorial, we are going to use the Astra theme. So simply hover on Astra theme, and then click on install. And then click on activate. Now the Astra theme successfully installed on our WordPress website. Now we need to add one plugin, which provides very professional pre-made templates for our website. To add this plugin, simply click on get started. Now we need to select a page builder. You can choose any page builder you like, but the most popular page builder is Elementor. So we are going to use Elementor. To add Elementor page builder on our website, simply click on Elementor. Now, here we can see pre-made templates for our website. Now first, click here, and select the free one. Now we can use these pre-made templates on our website for free. You can use these templates for any type of website. You can mix up different templates and use it in your website. To import the template on our website. Simply click on it. Now here we have two options to import the demo. You can import all pages which come with this demo. Or you can import only the home page of this demo site. Here, we are going to import a complete demo site. So simply click here to import the complete demo site on our website. Now, we successfully imported a demo site. Simply click on the view site to check how our website looks. Now, here we can see how our website looks. Right now, our website looks the same, as the demo site which we imported. Now, we need to edit this demo content and make it worth it by replacing it with our website content. Thank you for watching. Please click here to watch the next and last part of this tutorial. We'll cover everything in the next video. So please click on the video, which we provide on the screen, or you can find the link in this video description.